Whoa. So after my Menor Headlands video the other day, I got some requests to come to the Menor Marsh and check out the flooding here. The requests came from Tony Morgan and Tammy Panko. Tammy, forgive me if I pronounce your last name incorrectly. So we're gonna fly over this marsh, we're gonna check it out and see what kind of flooding it's got here using this drone. <laughs> I'm not too familiar. I mean, I lived in this area all my life, basically, but um, uh, I'm not too familiar with the Menor Marsh. As you can see, uh, there's just water everywhere. I don't know how common this is. Right there in the shot, you can see Route 44 North. And uh, I'm actually gonna bring the, the drone up just a little bit higher in the air here, start going upward. Check that out. You can see the train over there. That's pretty awesome see a car going by down there on the ground okay let's turn it around real quick and let's just look at the marsh from this direction and see what that looks like oh wow look at this look at this parking lot that whole parking lot is just underwater it, it actually kind of looks like that parking lot we were in the other day over by the headlands are we close by that yeah we are okay so check this out is Brooke. it more or less oh wow you just got it from a different angle whoa okay check this out i'm gonna i'm gonna bring my shutter down or my iso down a little bit here wow can i see i okay like i said i'm not that familiar i don't know if this is normal or not but look at all that water so i'm um, uh i am going to lift up the camera a little bit tilt up a little bit here And that is it. Look at that. Okay, so I am uh, I'm pretty far out right now. You can see me in the marsh. You can see all the water all around. I'm going to turn it around and start bringing it back. We'll get some uh, we'll get some footage of the marsh on the way back, and then we'll call it a day. But uh, wow, that is uh, that is some amazing footage, in my opinion. Thank you guys for requesting that. So I've had some requests to uh, wow. Hold on one second. Look at this. It, it literally just looks like a river to me. You can see that bridge. I think we actually came across that bridge a little while ago when we were, were on our way here. All right, I'm gonna pan down a little bit. Look at that. Look at that view going out towards the beach. All of that flooding just everywhere. All right, so I'm bringing her home right now. I can hear her coming on in, coming in hot. There it is. There she is, let's bring her down. I'm gonna bring it down right above me here. Uh, Brooke, you wanna put the camera up? Maybe you can see it. Coming in hot. I do have another request to go over to the Grand River and check that out. So before I end this video, uh, I was gonna end it with just the marsh, but before I end this video, here's an extra bonus for you. Let's head on over to the Grand River and check it out. Okay, so all checks are go right now. I am at Grand River Landing, and I don't see anywhere where there's flooding on the Grand River, so please let me know uh, where that's at so I can check it out. Real quick, I'm just gonna pop this up, get a check of the river, and then, uh, and then that's it, so let's do this. Birds are flying everywhere. Do you see them? These birds are trying, I don't know what it is, but birds hate drones. They hate drones, especially my drone. So all the birds are living underneath the bridge, so they might be threatened by my drone right now. That probably is what the issue is. There's a bird right by my drone again. I'm bringing it in. Not chancing it. Look at them, they're flying all around it. I'm not chancing that. At least I got a cool shot of how high the water was on the bridge. Um, let me bring my drone into the shot here real quick. 
The birds are messing with my drone way too much and I don't want to chance it. So I'm going to land it. At least we got a cool shot of how high the water was on the bridge. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video.